Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We are in episode 14 and I spent a little bit of time setting up this. What is this, Tivik? Well, I'll tell you what it is. This is a system to automatically, automagically even, convert dusts to ore, or rather... Ah, I need to turn you on, that's the thing. Uh, dust to um, the crushed ore, the broken ore into... Uh, crushed ore into pulverized into completed. So let's get one stack of each here. This first one here is already set up with the assembly. So four broken ore. Let's see if I can put this assembly... No, it's already in there. So four broken iron ore makes... Or gravel. Now, if I put some of this in, um, let's just take eight. It will quickly plant them and it will fall down and end up in that uh, cyclic assembler below. So let me hop down here and we'll take a look at this one. Now, this one has some crushed iron ore. If I take that and place it like so and click, we have that. And that will end up as pulverized iron ore, which in turn will be... Oh, I made it one extra. Oh well. Yeah, I made it one extra around here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just sort that out. But now, if I go and put... Let's see, I need to go up here. Lots of trees growing already, that's good. Cut them all down not long ago. So that last one will not be necessary. Let's, uh, well, let's see. This last one here. So this one, this one, this one, this one. And I can put this there. And we can pick this one up. I'll use this one for another one in the future. And that's a lot of these guys. Uh, the hammers are made using this one. Uh, so I just need to feed this one with a bunch of sticks and uh, cobblestone. We could probably feed this a cobble generator and uh, yeah, we'll see. Let me just figure this out. How do I want to do this? Let's just place a crafting table real quick. Make a chest for these hammers. It's hammer time. And get... There we go. Oh. Me. Uh, now, if I just put these in Oh, come on Good, not good, not good there. Oh, good Perfect, so I can pick this one up I fell down. Hmm. There's a hopper down there. Oh, well. Actually, I might need that one now. No. Okay. So now, with this, this one is making the last step into pulverized. Yep, to dust. Perfect. Let's try this. I'll just dump this in here. Some might end up there. That's not too good. Not sure how to handle that. I um, think like so. That way it falls down. And some might fall out there, but... 
Hmm. Not sure how I want to do that because I definitely don't want anything to fall through there. Maybe, maybe if I were to... Oh dear. If I get myself a... Oh, food. I really forget about food. I get myself a stone cover. That might help. Place it there. Excellent. And this one should now have a whole bunch of iron ore dust. And uh, the cool thing with this is that this will evenly use up the stone hammers and this will produce more hammers as needed. And I can just duplicate this setup. So, yet again, I put in broken ore. Much better. Look at this, all this iron ore dust being made. And these will be worn out fairly quickly, but I think that this is a simple enough thing to... Yeah. Also, can I turn this one to not do anything... ...to run out? No. I just need to make sure that I never run out. Shouldn't be too much a problem, I just need to refill it. Um, possibly even also set up some sort of automation for that, but not a big deal. This is well handled, and uh, got ten more to go. Excellent! Some twenty odd of this. Why is it not... There's not space in this one? Definitely should be. Oh, it's just producing it. Okay, excellent! So, what I'm going to do is set up this, but for the other ores as well. Now, this can be done in a fairly compact manner. I'm thinking I mirrored these, and uh, all these will go into the same item output. And since we have... How many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, of course, nine. Oh, well, nine. If I place this down, so I have two of these facing each other, so one ending here. And then I have two here, that's four, and then I duplicate this over on this side. Can have stairs up so we can walk up on top of this and watch it. Oh, that scares me every time. Kaboom. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing next, but I want to also do a little bit with this over here. I am starting to get myself some this. Perfect. Sugar cane will be used for uh, some cool stuff in not long, but as you can see, that's growing really slowly. Which is gonna be a pain, because I'm gonna need it fairly soon. But, I think I can maybe complete a quest now. I can complete this one, cultivating the harvest, and I'm gonna pick up the ender lily seeds, because I need a way to make ender pearls. So, let's take a look here. Do we have a bucket? Yes, we do. Now, let's manually submit and claim the ender lily seeds. Excellent. The next one is that, and I also need a precision sledgehammer. Hmm. Yeah, I made that one already, so uh, we can make the precision sle sledgehammer, no problem. Uh, I wanted to check this one. Silk Touch 5. Oh, look at that. Uh, 
Um, B to empower. 1600 RF per use. You know what this means? Dirt is not a problem anymore. I just need to remember to charge it up. I wonder if I can charge it up in the dynamo. Take a look. Nope, I can't. So I need to make some form of charging uh, table or whatever. We'll see. Um, yeah, let me... Let me see what we can do next here. And the lily seeds I need to store. I need to clean out my inventory and clear this up. So let me do that and be right back with you. So, precision sledgehammer is really simple. Like, so. Yet another tool. So let's pick up that reward bag. I have no idea what it is, so... Monster jerky. Ray. Okay, so now the pastoral life is the next. We need to spawn some chicken and squid. We can do this. Spawn chicken. We need arrows. Well, no problem. I have too many of them. Seven chickens. Uh, safari net. Yeah, fair enough. I do want to set up some MFR uh, breeding and uh, stuff, but mm, probably not going to be for now. There we go. That's a whole bunch of chickens. And uh, the spawn squid requires fishing rods and egg. One of you should hatch. Eventually. Might just have to wait. Um, I do need to set up something to collect the eggs, but in the meantime I can make the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8... Oh dear lord, that's a lot of string. Oh, wait, never mind. I do have a lot of that. I remade these, by the way, so... Now these function as both barrels and infinite water sources, which is great. Uh, let's see. I need more, but for now. My inventory is full again. Can someone explain this to me? And the lily seeds I'm gonna put away as well as these guys and that and that. I think maybe, maybe somewhere here. I have another... No, that's a half part I have. Okay. Well. Uh, what was I making? Oh yeah. More of that. More sticks. I need a whole bunch. Actually, in fact, I can just do this because whatever is left over goes to the farm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not the farm, but to the automated machine over here. This has quite a lot of uh, material. This will last very long time. I mean, look at these. They're not really that worn yet. Great. So, we need this chicken to lay an egg. No eggs. Yeah, so I've learned that going too close to the sludge boiler as it's working is a bad thing. So I am going to pick this up and... Oh, it made some clay. That's good. I'm also going to take it downstairs. I could probably pick up that. Ooh, that scared me. Yeah, I'm gonna put this machine here. So the sludge boiler is just down here. Just because it's dangerous to be near. 
And uh, we're going to need to pump down the liquid, so we need some liquid ducts. This is looking great. I can add more power there as I want, and uh, yeah, all in all, very nice. Hmm, liquid ducts. No eggs? No eggs. What's the next step, I think? Oh, nether. Because we need to do brewing, and I don't know any way to get a uh, blaze rod except for going to the nether. Um, let's see. Liquid arts. My memory is really bad today. Fluid duct, thank you. Also, I should probably close up the hole in the floor. And I can go down. Hmm. Not the nicest way of doing this, but it'll work. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting perfect. That should be far enough away that I don't need to worry. And this one is producing and it's stuffed up with these full. That's excellent. Really, this is going well. I am starting to get a lot of nifty gadgets and tools. And I'm not very far off to complete this one. Uh, Hell's Kitchen is something I want to do, but we need milk and... Uh, Cream and butter and cheese and salt. Salt I can make, but the fresh milk and water, well, fresh water, yeah, I suppose I can make that, is not really easy. Plus you need cows, and there is no cow. You need leather. Normal leather can be used um, to craft the spawn cow, but leather itself can be made from imp leather, so I suppose... I could make it by going to the nether. But I fear the nether. I really do. I mean, it's gonna be a painful place to visit. Don't you think? I think so. Okay. So, let me just clear down these trees now and uh, be back with you. Actually, looking at the time here, I am running out, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, in the next one, we'll set. Uh, I will have set up the next series of um, smelters, or rather, processors. It will require quite a lot of materials, so I might not complete it yet, but I'll get there uh, eventually. And once everything is uh, automated up there. I'm going to make sure that the dust goes into smelteries, because we want to process this dust as well, and um, get it uh, ready to be smelted into ore. I think I'll put that just in the nearby area, just expand out there. So, yeah, that's it for this. So I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.